Welcome to Circuit Secrets. In today's video we will be using multi-core programming and free RTOS at the same time on a Raspberry Pi Pico with the Arduino IDE. <laughs> In the last video, we looked at both multi-core programming and FreeRTOS separately. In this video, we will be using both simultaneously. FreeRTOS was designed to run on a single core processor, but some ports allow pinning tasks to different cores. On the Raspberry Pi Pico port of FreeRTOS we are using from the Arduino IDE, there is no support for pinning tasks to different cores. However, FreeRTOS takes over management of all the operations when it is included at compile time. So we will be running FreeRTOS, creating tasks, and running traditional code all at the same time. In keeping the example simple and easy to understand, we will be turning on and off three LEDs. Two LEDs will be run through tasks, and one LED will be running in a loop function. This approach demonstrates the flexibility of FreeRTOS. Let's step through the code. First, we have to include the header files to pull in the libraries for FreeRTOS and task. Next, we come to setup, where we create the tasks. For more information about XTask Create, see my last video, Raspberry Pi Pico, FreeRTOS, and Arduino. Next, we come to Setup 1, where we configure the pin for the first LED as output. Now we come to the tasks. I covered their structure in depth in my last video. They set the pins for the other two LEDs as output, and contain the loops that turn them on and off. Next, we come to Loop, where we do nothing but delay. This is not necessary, but is used to show that it does not affect the other tasks or processes. Now we come to the last function, the loop1 function. This function turns one LED on and off timed by delay. When the sketch is uploaded to a Raspberry Pi Pico with LEDs attached to pins 2 and 3, we see them plus the built-in LED all flashing at different speeds. Let's recap. First we created two tasks with free RTOS. Then we set up a typical LED flashing code in Setup1 and Loop1. Finally, we watch them all work together. The next video will show you how to get debug information for tuning the task scheduling in FreeRTOS on the Raspberry Pi Pico program from the Arduino IDE. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Like and comment if you enjoy this content, and let me know what you want to see in future videos.